new drones, the military testing cargo drone, illegal immigrants saved by a drone. It's all happening this week. Geeksvana is your drone channel. Oh, hey everyone. My name is Lib and welcome to this week's Geeksvana's weekly drone news update. We hope you are all coping well with the current crisis and keeping safe during these difficult times. Thank you for coming along to watch all of our videos. We appreciate each and every one of you. You know that. To follow me, you know what to do. That's right. Look me up on these bad boys. All of my coolness is in the description below. Check me out. Here are the news stories we will be covering today. Let's get straight to the drone news. First up, and we have all been very excited to see a new drone on the horizon from Chinese manufacturer, wait for it, DJI. <laughs> Recent FCC filings have exposed the name of the new drone to be the Mavic Air 2. Hey everyone, Sean here. Sorry to interrupt this week's update, but the story has evolved since we wrote our script. Here are the leaked pictures of the upcoming Mavic Air 2. Thanks goes out to Brazilian website Drone Friendly for their first report on this, as well as Geeks Varna viewer Armando Ferreira. Sorry if I pronounced your surname poorly, Armando. Specs in the accompanying leaked manual include 4K 48 megapixel camera, 34 minute flight time, and OcuSync 2.0 with an 8 kilometer range. Interestingly, this zoomed picture shows the power button with the diamond lights on top, which of course matches the DJI teaser for their release on March 27th. For more information, check out our live stream from last night, which includes more specs and details. Link is in the description. Okay, back to Lib now. Next up, and an amateur aviation sleuth has unearthed the flight radar patterns of some unusual UAVs, which have been operating off the south coast of England recently. Using Flight Radar 24, the users have logged back and forth some large drones seemingly operating a search grid. So UK Home Office officials have confirmed the drone was operating from Lyd Airport in Kent. These twin engine 7 meter craft can stay airborne for up to 20 hours and have a live video feed linked back to patrol boats who are obviously able to react quickly to provide life-saving services to those risking their lives across the channel, often at night and in inferior craft. So figures confirm that 130 migrants have been rescued from the channel since last weekend, despite the lockdowns in England and France. The drones in use are from manufacturer Tecover who proudly state on their website that the drones are capable of near shore and maritime missions with multi-sensor fusion and specialized support to search and rescue operations. They also offer a use for their drone as an anti-piracy tool. Now that's pretty cool. Specs include an impressive 730 centimeter wingspan with a cruising speed of 100 kilometers per hour, carrying up to 50 kilograms with that previously mentioned 20 hours maximum flight time. Now that's some pretty impressive stuff. Boeing Defense's Twitter proudly show the helicopter style drone as it lifts supplies to troops 31 times during the test. The flight took place between the 2nd and 12th of March as part of the Army Expenditure Warrior Experiment. The S-100 is capable of carrying 34 kilos of payload for more than six hours with a maximum payload of 50 kilograms. Impressive stats, which no doubt will provide essential assistance to our brave frontline troops as they conduct their missions worldwide. There we have it. This week's drone news all wrapped up into one nice little update. To get more of these, please consider subscribing to get the latest drone news first from yours truly. Hit the notification bell, don't forget. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Please remember to like and subscribe.
no in the seat <laughs> come back next week okay